Hey guys, this is Ryan Blair here at Halo Inc. and we're doing the final step on our uh, screen print separations video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit open and go into the production folder of the desired order. And now this time we're going to do a left chest placement, which the beginning steps are the same. Um, it is slightly different in the end. Um, and actually you're going to see something new on here as well, so that's pretty cool. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete the uh, black screen that it, it generated and then what you're gonna see over here is that we've got another white screen but for some reason it didn't hold the spot color white that we had assigned while proofing um, so we're just gonna go ahead and click and drag that onto the other white screen you click multiply and now it is part of the white screen um, for some reason it separated the red the ball from the rest of the graphic so we're gonna do the same thing we're just gonna click and drag that onto the other red screen because they're all the same red. Um, so now you can see that our graphic is complete. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set up the underbase again. And that looks good. And now here is where it is slightly different. So we're gonna go ahead and hit print, make sure that all of our steps are turned on. This time we're gonna go to marks and layout and we're gonna go to template. And we're using our left chest template, uh, which is slightly different because we have it set up based on the way that we um, want it positioned on the screen and I'm sure there's a better way to do this but we haven't quite figured it out yet um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find the center of our artwork which is basically at the tip of the Y and I know this is over processing and I'm really trying to find another way to do this um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move it over until uh, and we're using the X tab until the corner of the Y lines up pretty much with that center mark there. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the Y and we're going to move it up until it starts clipping out. And then we're gonna back it off one so that way nothing's getting cut out. And this is approximately the placement that we want. Um, we did set up our own custom template in SEP Studio and for some reason there's no way to center and align the artwork to the top. It always wants to put it in the center in the middle and that kind of throws off our placement on the shirt. Um, so until we get that figured out, this is this is how we're doing it. Um, but we it is something that we're working on, so this will change shortly. Um, but basically that's it. It looks good, so you can go ahead and click save. And we're just going to save it into that production folder again as the EPS. We don't even need to rename it. And uh, we'll just wait a second, and it's done. So we can hit OK, close. And you're going to want to make sure you close it on this screen too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.